DK Vine mirroring We didn't make this somebody else did DK Vine mirroring a video Hello, I'm the director of Super Smash Brothers, Masahiro Sakurai of Sora. Today, I would like to introduce you to the latest videos from Super Smash Brothers. Let's begin. This is the handheld version, Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS. In the Smash Brothers games, the screen shows the stage from a distance, and the characters appear relatively small. So for the Nintendo 3DS version, we outline the characters so they're easier to see from far away. This is Bowser. I'm sure fans can tell he's standing more upright than in previous versions. His running speed and attacks have been adjusted, so he's a pretty powerful character. Every player will have his or her own system. This aspect is unique to this version, so I'm thinking of ways to use that to the game's advantage. The total number of characters is the same as the Wii U version, but some of the stages will be completely different. On the Nintendo 3DS version, there will be more stages based on handheld games, while theme stages from home console games will be on Wii U. Moving on to the home console, here's Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Compared to Super Smash Bros. Brawl, the colors lean a bit more towards primary colors. It's in HD, so it looks great even from far away. We added visual effects as if attacks are cutting through the air to further highlight the quick movements. Here are Link, Samus, and Pit. They were all born in 1986. Until now, Samus was based off the design from Super Metroid, but she's been given a major makeover. Her design's now closer to that of Metroid Other M. We didn't just copy her over. We added black lines along the slits for a tighter look and inserted perforated metal. She's much more powered up visual-wise. Pit is now the Kid Icarus Uprising version, and has a few new moves. For example, this is the upper dash arm. He also can use the Guardian Orbitars. Now, here's a new character. At last, the long-awaited villager from Animal Crossing. Since the game he's from is about collecting, he uses many things. A sapling, umbrella, slingshot, um, and also fireworks. He can even pull weeds. He can use combos like shoveling the ground and then attacking with a bowling ball. And just like in his game, he's prone to pick up anything. Like Mario's fireball. Whatever he picks up, he can use again once at any time. He can pick up things like Samus's missile, or her charge shot, and throw it back at her. I hope you look forward to the villager's appearance. And now, Mega Man joins the battle. Maintaining his NES look was a top priority. I'm not going to have just any character participate from other companies, but he's definitely in a class of his own. The Mega Man in Smash Brothers doesn't punch or kick a lot. The only real punch is the Mega Upper. Used in Marvel vs. Capcom, it's like a Shoryuken. Instead, he'll use the Mega Buster, his normal move. He can use it while walking and jumping. He can also use the charge shot, which is a smash attack. The more you charge, the stronger it gets, of course. His sliding and rush coil are other mobile attacks. But the biggest feature is definitely the variable weapon system. Mega Man has a variety of moves that he gets from each of the bosses in the series. In his normal and special attacks, he can use a part of those bosses. The Metal Blade can be thrown in eight directions. 
You can also pick it up as an item. The Crash Bomber is a time bomb that can be attached to fighters. An item called a Gooey Bomb appeared in the previous version, and just like that, you can attach it to an opponent. The top spin is a spinning attack. The hard knuckle has a meteor effect. Watch out for that one. The slash claw and flame sword are air attacks. The leaf shield will protect you, and you can also throw it. The Spark Shot and Flame Blast will morph his hands to the Mega Buster, but he needs to vent it out, since he will overheat when he uses both hands. He's turning out to be one of the more unique characters in Smash Bros. I hope you like it. Lastly, I'll show you a little bit of the Wii Fit Trainer. I get a lot of new character requests from all over the world, and they're quite an array of Nintendo characters, but I can say pretty much no one imagined this character would join the battle. This is the Wii Fit Trainer. She's a health nut and moves with grace. Her basic moves are based off of her fitness exercises, and she uses various moves that she thinks will contribute to her health. During battle, she may also give herself some health tips. New characters have a final smash too. The Wii Fit Trainer's final move is called Wii Fit. I hope you look forward to seeing more of the unusual healthy fighter, the Wii Fit Trainer. At last, I was able to talk a bit about the latest Smash Brothers, but we've only scratched the surface, so I hope to talk more about it soon. Every day during our lunch break, I find myself playing in four-player matches using the new characters. I can do whatever I want during my lunch break, but I can't help playing. I'd like to end with a notification. There's now a Smash Brothers series community in Miiverse, so please check it out. Mimi will make appearances and will be posting Smash Brothers photos taken from my desk five days a week. Oh, and the characters page has now been added to the official website. Make sure you check that out too. That's all I have today. Thank you for watching.